don't, didn't really interest me. Um, it's too religious for me. I don't know. I'm not. I didn't really, really get a good feeling anyway. I should say I wasn't sure whether it was life after death and what happens to people when they die. My ex-wife died a week before we went on the film shoot, and we have a psychic. Well, we have a few psychics, but the one I use is a lady called Tracy. Anna died on the Saturday morning. I called her on the Sunday morning, and I said, Tracy, see if you can get through to Anna. And she said, Listen, Lee. Normally the transition period is 10 days or more. And I said, clearly you don't know my ex-missus, she's a Capricorn and everything should have been done yesterday. She got straight through to her, like within seconds, Anna came through. And the first thing she said was trust in what you were doing. I should say, I wasn't sure whether it was life after death and what happens to people when they die. It's too religious for me, I don't know, I'm not, I didn't really, really get a good feeling anyway. Began with the letters L-B-V-P. We decoded these and it came up with 12.2, which is the book of Genesis, the first part of the Bible, and 22.16, which is the book of Revelations. After yesterday's discoveries, we sent the decoded information to Greg, and he talks about this in episode one. The biggest secret in the Catholic Church is that there were two Jesuses. A bit often, Jesus and, you know, and. The two Jesuses came here to Portugal to write the book of Revelations. Now there's several important stories that go through the book of Revelations and the number one was the story of Jesus walking on water. It looked like he was walking on the water but he was actually in fact only walking on a very thin layer that had been left on the sand deposits after the tide had gone out. A bit often Jesus and you know and... Now the two Jesuses were cousins the second Jesus was his third cousin. It's Jesus in Spanish. You're probably asking yourself is why would the two Jesuses come here to the Algarve, spend four years writing the book of Revelations. Both Jesuses left this part of the Algarve and they moved on. Exactly what happened to the third cousin of the first Jesus and how he built his life in Portugal and the important work that he did during those next few years. He established himself inside the community as a respectable business person by taking advantage of the amazing local grapes that were grown here. He became a famous winemaker. Hence the story, Jesus turning water into wine. After several years, Jesus settled down and had a family. His popularity grew with inside the community as a famous winemaker. It was at this stage he came up with a brilliant plan to spread Christianity throughout the Roman world by getting one of his sons inside the Roman Empire as a centurion in exchange for accepting the Roman emperors into the secrets of the Egyptian mysteries. Jesus' grandson was born by the name of Hadrian, who went on to become very famous for building a wall across the north of England called Hadrian's Wall, which was the marker point of the Roman Empire's northern outpost. A bit often, Jesus and, you know, and title King John the third come from? Now to carry the title King John of England or any related aspect you have to be the Sangreal or the Christ or the Christ right. with the title Christ with the title Christ was uh, execute the Knights of Malta out of the Vatican and they're in charge of the world's money supply yeah. and then the amount of people that Charlie's woken up and alerted to what's going on without preaching the word of Jesus, the word of God and hallelujah. Number nine, he was part of a cult. Charlie grew up being a part of the religious cult, Plymouth Brethren. This was the same cult that Alistair Crowley was a part of. But from a point of view of Jesus loves you, I think that's a good thing to teach people. And, but if everyone else thinks you're a twat, then so be it. Or everyone else thinks I'm a twat, so be it, doesn't matter. Yeah, so you're indoctrinated. Yeah. Um, what religious uh, viewpoint did you take after you came out of out of the cult, um, biblically Did, speaking? I didn't believe in anything, mate. I didn't believe in anything. I, I went the opposite way. And just remember, Jesus loves you. Hi, guys. This is just a little bit of inside information for you. Little rats.